Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to River Fever's cast. Today we have a game called Dawn of War Elite, as always, mostly. And it's a map called Caldari's Refinery, 2v2 mode. On the red team, we have Lord Phoenix, or Phoenix Lord Warp Spider. And he is supported by his brother in arms, Mortarian, the Warp Spider X Arc. On the blue team, we see Cultured Boy playing the Inquisitor of Imperial Guard. He is supported by not his brother in arms, by teammate Man on Mars playing the Nurgle playing champion. We see Phoenix capping the top VP with his Termagods. They are, as we all know, very fast infantry unit, light on their feet, as some may say. In middle, we see Mortarion has capped their, uh, that VP, and on bottom, we see a cultured boy capturing their VP. So far, pretty standard. We have cultured boy decapping one of Mortarion's natural points. Sneaky sneaky. At the same time, we see Man on Mars trying to advance, but being intimidated by the large amount of Termagods and other alien beasts, Hormagods and the like. Now we go into the engagement and we see that Man on Mars overextended his Space Marines a little bit, managing to get caught by the Hormagods in melee, letting the Hive Tyrant move up all unhindered. His uh, heretics are a little bit too late to engage the main force of the Tyranids and are caught behind. We see Mortarian coming up to help uh, Phoenix Lord and they manage to kill off Man on Mars heretic squad. Lord Warp Spider Phoenix is pushing on while Mortarian is being flanked by Cultured Boys Sentinel backed off by two guardsmen squad as they have repair on which is very good to have when you are an imperial guard. Mortarian threw two plasma grenades, missed the sentinel, the sentinel microed all the way up trying to do the push but failed to hit since Mortarian was also microing and mm, dodged that. His sentinel managed to get away with one health, very lucky and his guardsmen are falling back Mortarian and Lord Warp Spider managed to come out successful out of that engagement. But in the meantime, Cultured Boy have been an evil, evil inquisitor and decapped all of bottom. So, point wise, almost equal, I would say. In the lead, I mean, it's hard to say who is in the lead. We see Mortarian out, out maneuvering the inquisitor. The Inquisitor unleashing her uh, judgment spell, skill, uh, whatever you want to call it, that uh, is a stun for one enemy model. Deals uh, average amount of damage, I don't know how much damage it does, but it's nice to pick off enemy commanders that are fleeing with like two health left or something. Anyway, on top we see Lord Phoenix moving around with his swarm of Locus, I would say, but they're Termagods and Warmagods. In middle, we see that Man on Mars have put up a defensive line with Heretics worshipping, providing health bonus and regeneration, while his Lord is decapping the VP. His Lord is upgraded with Plague Grenade, the Blight Grenade, which is very good at dealing versus infantry units. We see that uh, Man on Mars uh, Marines are getting suppressed and smashed to bits by Phoenix Lord Warp Spiders army of Nids, Tyranids, yes. Also being backed up by Mortarion and Snipers. Don't know who did the deed, but they got the deed done. On top we see Cultured Boy being pushed off from some engagement I must have missed. We see uh, Mortarion advancing decapping one of the blue points, na natural resources points, at the same time as he is capturing the VP in mid. We see Culture Boy moving in carefully with his main forces, two guard guardsmen 
squads and a Kalashan car. He's engaged and Lord Warp Spider, but he's falling back since he recognized that the suppression unit backed up with the snipers are a little bit too much. As we see here, the main engagement forces the Imperial Guards back. Man on Mars is a little bit too late to the party and comes in with his heretics trying to outmaneuver this ranged squad of uh, units there is here. He managed to get one unit around and is healing them with the other upgraded heretic squad. Good move, will it be enough? He's falling back with his upgraded and the Kalashans are falling back and the non-upgraded just went down. Man on Mars is back to where he started, almost taking two unit losses, two squad unit losses. Don't know about Culture Boy, but he lost his Sentinel and probably one guard, Guardsman. Mortarian, don't know about him. Looks like he has the right amount of money to upgrade. Should see that upgrade coming soon. Cultured Boy is defending their natural boy, uh, DP against Mortarian's LR forces. He is also backed up by uh, Phoenix Tyranids. As we see the Termagods advancing here, but they are falling back as they see Man on Mars coming in to help Cultured Boy defending their natural VP. At the same time, on top, we see Man on Mars moving in with Heretic Squad, probably going to try to decap. Man on Mars is falling back since he is taking too much range fire from Man on, from uh, Mortarian's range guardians. Mortarian's Mort uh, War Spider is taking too heavy damage and have to get out of there. So he decides to take the whole army with him. It's a good idea since they're all low on health. We see the. Cultured boys, Kalashan Devils are engaging this. No, they're not engaging it. Yes, they are engaging it. Good idea, breaking that power, reclaiming it. We see Man on Mars reclaiming their top VP, or at least trying to, since Phoenix is well aware of this fact and is have retreated with his army to uh, being able to defend it. Score wise, Red is in the lead with 495, ticking down with 360 for the blue team. Blue team is at the moment capping the second point for them, so they will start to gain some points. We see Man on Mars destroying one of uh, the Red's power plants, but Phoenix is there and are pushing him off with his ranged Termagods, since they are not upgraded with grenades, they can't do much against the range. On the other side we see Cultured Boy standing idle, waiting for something. At the same time, Man on Mars is still trying to decap this with his Plague Champion. But the red team has their eyes set on another prize. They are going for the VP in the mid, we see Mortarian decapping with Infiltrated Guardians, it's a spell that uh, some unit, hmm, let's see here who it is, it's probably a, maybe they, uh, yeah I don't know what it is that makes them invisible, so if someone knows please write in the comment below. But it must have been some kind of buff, either from the Warp Spider or from the Rangers, I feel. Anyway, we see this major engagement going down. Uh, the victor comes out of it, the red team, as they manage to force off the Imperial Guards and try their darndest, backed up by Man on Mars, unleashing his infamous or famous Blight Grenade, dealing a lot of damage to the Tyranny units, as we see here, they had to fall back. Still trying their luck, Man on Mars managed to decap and capture this point for the blue, po blue power team, so that is good. The heretics of Man on Mars have been buffed with the Plague Nurgle buff, which makes them more resilient to damage and when they explode they heal their nearby friends and also deal a lot of explosion damage to nearby enemy units. And yeah, we see Phoenix recapturing the power point. In mid, still red has the VP. Guardian, <coughs> I mean Cultured Boy is uh, advancing alongside the line, 
see if, if he has the opportunity to move in. He might have seen this Wraith Lord and knows that it is will be a hard fight to fight since he has no... Maybe he has upgraded, we'll see here. No, not upgraded Kadishans. When they will be upgraded he will have last guns for his uh, commander. Well maybe they are. Or maybe that's a grenade launcher. Difficult to see. <coughs> or to tell I mean. But it might be a grenade launcher. Anyway we see that they're trying to decap it, Man on Mars. Uh, but uh, Mortarion is forcing him off with his range. Culture Boy unleashes his grenade attack from the Kadishan Devils, which has a very long range. Very good at disrupting enemy lines, set up teams and guardians and uh, soldiers alike, anything really. <coughs> anything except vehicles. Here we see that the Man on Mars Dreadnought is scaring off Mortarian's Wraith Lord, which in my opinion it's a good idea to fall back for Mortarion since this Dreadnought is upgraded for melee uh, specialist so he can go into fury mode and uh, take a lot less damage and deal a lot more damage. It's kinda risky since you can turn on your own but well worth it. Here we see it go off marking the red claws and all the red going around around it. As soon as he's finished with those Tyranids he will go for the closest target. We see Phoenix has a Tyranid uh, uh, guard with him, which is very good since they don't have much anti-vehicle. In comes Mortarion's Wraith Lord at the same time, doing what he does best, killing, killing, killing. Cultured Boy Inquisitor was fighting the Hive Guardian, Tyran Tyranid Guardian, guard, guard, but without success, so had to fall back. Man on Mars Dreadnought is taking too much damage from the Hive Tyrant who has upgraded with uh, strong claws, uh, they are called crushing claws, to being able to destroy just vehicles and any other heavily armored units. They also managed to take, uh, take down Man on Mars on his retreat, which is a good win for the red team, which is nice, I guess, yeah, you would say. We see they have recaptured the bottom VP with the Mortarion's Rangers, sneakily done, and they also have the top one and now the middle one. I would say this is a GG, marking out players who know when to quit and players who fight on until the end. Absolutely not saying anything bad about these two players since I both know that they are very skilled and very good. but. Every dog has its day. In comes Culture Boy with his spawned Lehman Ross tank, thinking to counter that Wraith Lord. Ca uh, the Imp Imp Inquisitor uh, comes into range into these Guardians and uh, uses her ability to net them. It's her second tier armored armor that uh, makes her able to capture people like that in nets as we saw. Very good when you have artillery or anything else to launch at them. Here we see Cultured Boy advancing in, forcing off Phoenix somehow. Mortarion is moving up with his Wraith Lord, moving back since he sees that Man on Mars Plague Champion has the hammer upgrade, the power fist of death, I would say it's called, but it's not called like that. We see them fighting, fighting, fighting. Uh, Phoenix is engaging, trying to get to uh, Man on Mars uh, Space Marines since they are all range. But do are not successful in this attempt since he is falling back. At the same time, uh, Man on Mars is unleashing his Blight Grenade, making the whole, the entire army of Phoenix fall back since they're taking so much damage. In the meantime, the Tyranid Guard standed uh, to fight with Man on Mars, and as we can see, it was the right choice. Man on Mars is dead, and the Tyranid Guard is alive with a lot of health left, and it can bury down and regenerate health. But this is not a good place to be since there is a Lehman, Lehman Russ here and so much small arms. And I actually think that, especially the plasma guns, 
of the Imperial Guard can do a little bit damage to it. So yeah. Here we see Mortarion's Fire Prism tank. It has been spawned without my knowledge, because I'm very rarely looking down here for what they're building. Have to pay attention on what's happening on the field, you know. <laughs> anyway, Mortarion's bright, lies, bright lands on this Fire Prism is firing from its maximum range, trying to be as disruptive as possible. Uh, making the job well done since he managed to push off the Imperial Guards. As we can see, they are in a retreat. This is the opportunity to strike, but since they do not see what we see, they move with caution. But he's decapitating the bottom VP and has infiltrated his whole army here. I guess it is some kind of spell you put out that gives an area of effect infiltra infil infiltrate ability. Yes, very difficult word to s pronounce sometimes. We see that Phoenix has a great army of Tyranids with a Swarm Lord in the middle of everything. Swarm Lord is one of the absolutely greatest melee monsters units in the entire game. Can take on mostly anything without being too worried. There we see Man on Mars Heretics once again taking the prize being taken out by Mortarion's fire person. Having such an extreme range, it making it very deadly for anyone trying to engage it. But with a slow army being outgunned, it is not a good place to be inside of uh, a tank, that is. Here we see Cultured Boy's main army trying his luck on the main VP in the middle. The main VP in the middle has both of the Red Armies, uh, the team armies here. We see that Tyranid are advancing, moving in slowly since there are two Libra Rusts here now apparently, providing great cover for the Imperial Guard, trying to kite as best as they can, and falling back with all of the infantry as the Tyranid reaches their lines. The Tyranids are mostly melee guided as we can see, so they do not want to stand close. We see the Swarm Lord wailing on this Lehman Russ and breaking it fairly easy. As I said before, Swarm Lords are one of the absolute worst, best melee guys in the game. Here comes the Great Unclean One, very good and very strong against anything, but against the Swarm Lord backed up with all this, I would say he is outmanned. We'll see how it goes, this is definitely a nice thing to see, you barely, rarely see it that often. If I would be Man on Mars at this time, I would engage the Tyranids feeling like I only have like 82.79 left, why not just make a nice battle out of it and fight to the death. But he is trying his best to escape, being backed up by a Predator and a Lehman Russ as the blue army is being backed up into a corner from these monsters of the red army ha ah, red army lol anyway we see that Mortarion and Phoenix will come out of this battle victorious it definitely looked like it will become a victory for them anyway I hope you liked today's matchup and the background music and the intro and all the other videos that came up today anyway back to the game we see that the blue team try their luck on the middle VP but being totally ungunned by all the Eldar and the Tyranids that are standing here but now they're moving in with their main force two tanks backed up with the unclean one and the stormtroopers decapping in the infiltrated mode as they're being sneaky sneaky like we see the Tyranids being very idle, but now they recognize that this is might the time to advance. As the Great Lord goes down, the Great Unclean One unleashes his spew, and then his big stomp of poison, damaging all nearby enemies. But will it be enough? As we know from before, the Swarm Lord, Swarm Lord does great damage, and is very durable. We see both the tanks probably focusing their great guns on it, trying their best to do as much damage as possible. 
The guardsmen are taking too much damage from idle shots from the Tyranid Termagods and are forced back in a retreat. The great unclean one of Man on Mars is advancing and trying its luck once again, being outmaneuvered and outgunned and that is a game. That is game over. Alright guys, so, yeah, thank you music for calming down. See you on the score screen, and good job Culture Boy, Man on Mars, Mortarion, and Phoenix. See you. Welcome back guys to the score screen of today's 2v2 matchup versus Culture Boy and Man on Mars against Lou, Phoenix, Lord Dwarf, Spider and Mortarion. The victors, as we can see, is the red team and Phoenix Lord takes home the champion tag. We see the scores right here. And as we know from before. Happy hunting guys, see you on the next replay.